Hey everybody, how we doing? Good. Fuck yeah, good to be here. Good to fuck, just good to get out. <laughs> just good to see another building. This is cool. Uh, I like it. Uh, Do we pick up any new hobbies in lockdown? Anybody? No. Nope. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for connecting. Uh, good to be good to be friends with you. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I've got a three-year-old daughter, I've got a young daughter, so during the lockdown I tried to make the most of my LGA, get out and about, make the most of it. Uh, so one of our new hobbies is throwing rocks in the creek. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's sick. It's so, so good. You ever thrown a rock in a creek, ma'am? No? Exactly, it shows. Look at your face, you're fucking furious. Uh, you ever skimmed a rock, sir? You ever oh, skimmed one? Yes. Fuck yeah, what's your biggest skim? Oh, one. One. <laughs> All right, I mean, uh, technicality. Uh, all right, man. Uh, I feel like he just kind of threw it in. <laughs> you know, that was a skim. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to take that. I'm going to claim that one. Uh, if an overweight comedian ever asks. <laughs> so I'm going to do. I love it, but it's so good. But having a daughter, that is the only reason I get away with doing an activity like that. It gives me a license, right? So if you see me down there with my daughter throwing rocks in the creek, you're like, look at that. That's a good dad. Good on him. But if you minus the daughter <laughs> and you see this same guy just throwing rocks in the creek by himself, you're like, fuck, he's been through a recent divorce. <laughs> or he's trying to weigh the body down. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> Does everybody know what a hall pass is? Like a celebrity hall pass? Yeah, sick. Just in case anybody doesn't know, I'll, I'll just quickly run through it. Basically, that is where you and your partner pick one celebrity each that you are allowed to sleep with should the opportunity ever arise. There will be no ramifications to the relationship. Uh, and I must stress how important it is to get the okay of the celebrity. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> no, that's the first, first thing to do, right? Like, you can't just be like, hey, come here, my wife said I could. Also, like... <laughs> But I was watching a movie with my wife and uh, she goes, hey, who's your hall pass? And I was like, <laughs> nice try. Uh, I'm not telling you. Because if I tell you, then I won't be allowed to watch any movies with that person in it. But that person will just be dead to us as a family. Done. I said, if you want to know who mine is, you tell me yours first. She goes, okay, I think mine would be Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. And I was like... I have a problem with your wording. Because you said Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. Not Channing Tatum or Jonah Hill. Like there was still a decision to be made. Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. That's like, all right, Channing, you on the front. Jonah, you jump on the back. Choo-choo, everyone get in Mitch's wife. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> no. Sorry I said that. Um, that's the thing. When I went to tell her mine, I finally went to tell her who my hall pass was. She goes, oh, actually, no, don't tell me. I don't want to hear it. It'll make me too sad. I was like, oh, will that make you, will that make you too sad? You're okay with the recreation of 22 Pump Street going on up here. Will that make you too, I don't want to make you too sad. No, that's fair enough. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit honest with you guys. I think you guys are pretty cool, pretty open. Um, I got a text message from my mother the other day. And when I opened it, it was just a picture of one of her boobs. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, fair enough. Um, <laughs> this is where we're at, I guess. Um, decided to reply to her. I decided to question her on it. I sent her a message back. I said, uh, Why? Why did that happen to me <laughs> while I'm still alive? Like, what was the deal there? She goes, oh, there's a lump on there. I thought I should get it checked out. I was like, I agree. I definitely think you should get it checked out. Probably by a medical professional. <laughs> Not a blood relative. <laughs> Worst bit was, when the message came through, I was sitting there just on the lounge with my wife so all my wife saw was me just open a photo of one old boob. And I just had to be like, uh, like I had a decision to make at that point. Like, do I go, oh yeah, that's actually, that's what I'm into. Uh, 
I fucking love, I love one old boob. Uh, you've got two young ones, yuck. <laughs> I like one old one, please. Or do I just play it even cooler and just be like, yeah, that was just mum. <laughs> better go home in a second, better go home in a second. But uh, I love dumb tattoos. Dumb tattoos is my favourite thing in the whole world. Uh, when I was growing up, I used to work at a KFC. Um, that's probably pretty evident. Um, <laughs> chill out, I said it. So <laughs> It's fine. Like, I know. It's all right. Uh, I worked at a KFC. I was probably 15. There was a guy who was a couple of years older than me. He was like 18. He got a tattoo down his arm that said, fuck the establishment. And at 15, I was like, what a cool guy. And now at 33, I'm like, what a cool guy. <laughs> oh, fuck the establishment. Fuck him. Oh, you smashed him, bro. Well done. <laughs> you got him. You got him. Why don't you finish your shift at KFC first? <laughs> before you try and bring down the man. <laughs> that was like this tattoo was just full of all this teenage angst. Like, fuck the establishment. Fuck him. Like, I don't want to rip on people with dumb tattoos. I have dumb tattoos myself. But my tattoos, they're full of, like, 30-year-old man angst. So I have a tattoo across my shoulder blades that says, Fuck Telstra. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the show. My name's Mitch Garling. Bye-bye. Mitch Garling, everybody!